the G20 mm -hmm. comes with a certain dogma which is absolutely neoliberal in nature, right? And it is there to to legalize, legitimize, and make policies for big capital to make more, more profits from. Yeah, I'm Kshitij, I'm an activist from India, and I'm participating in the People's Convergence G20. PPPs and an increasing role for the private sector is becoming such a strong discourse amongst governments around the world. And it's not just happening in developed countries, it's happening in developing countries as well. And it has significant impacts for social equity, for the whole nature of what governance is. Hi, I'm, I'm Vicky, I'm with Massey University. The G20 want uh, you know, the promotion of uh, public-private partnerships, uh, which is the worst form of privatization. So there's not a bouquet of choices that you can make. The G20 is here to endorse uh, one, po one kind of policy, which is the PPP. So when it comes to PPPs of uh, public sector, you're talking about privatizing water, you're pri talking about privatizing sanitation, uh, the power sector, education, um, hospitals, etc. In whatever form they take, it is an, an increasing role of, more often than not, large corporations in the everyday running of basic services and infrastructure with an increasing um, role also in key decision-making processes usually that happen in the state because most regulations, most laws all have to be reformed to create that enabling environment pri for the private sector and they're usually part of uh, determining what that should look like. These are heads of state from 20 of the, the largest uh, economies in the world so not only do they impact on the countries from, from which these heads of states come from, Australia, Russia, the US and so on and so forth, but because these are also very powerful actors in the global economy and also in the international forum politically, that they will inevitably have effects in the way in which a whole host of countries from Latin America to, to Africa, through the Pacific, through South Asia, and when you have governments around the world all conforming to the same kinds of policy prescriptions, inevitably the effect will um, be affecting billions of people around the world. Um, so, uh, and, and then, you know, without involving the 170 other countries, they make policies for the whole world. So that definitely implements, you know, the lives of every single person uh, around the globe. So it's blatant neoliberal capitalism, and that's what the G20 is trying to do, trying to implement.